What have I learned since turning 20? Well... Being selfish is a-okay. Thank you so much for tuning in and clicking on this video, and let's get started. Number 11, appreciate differences and always remember it is not always about you. Um, being here, I realized how self-centered I was um, in Miami. Um, I'm not gonna say self-centered as person. I just, I was really self-centered with my culture and um, thought it was all about my culture, whatever. It's because there's so many Haitians in Miami. But being here and making new friends, like I have friends who are Nigerian, Ghanaian, um, people from um, Sierra Leone, um, people from India, people from Singapore. Like I've made a lot of good friends here and being able to appreciate the differences. Like I love learning about their cultures. I love it. I love it so much. Yeah, since I'm homesick, but at least I get to share a piece of my culture with them and they with me. And then you're able, once you appreciate those differences, be able to see the the things we have in common. And that's how I, I, I click so well with people from other countries. Because we have so much in common. I love, I love my people. I love my Americans, but I love my people that are not American either. Because <laughs> I relate so much with them. Um, so yeah, it's not always about you. Sometimes you need to take a step back, okay? Uh, I think I lost my spot. Okay, number 12, it says, money is only paper. Don't stress about it. I had to write this, this is a lesson that I just started trying to ram in my head um, a couple of days ago. Because I was stressing, like, true story. I got charged $15 from my bank, Wells Fargo, and I know there's a limit to transfers, whatever's, but apparently I met my limit for my savings, transferring money out because Kimberly had some unforeseen circumstances happening earlier this uh, month, and I guess I went over that six, the limit of six transfers, and I got charged $15. And I get, I get paid once a month, so I have one paycheck for the entire month, which is cool. I front loaded, paid all my bills ahead of time. But at, that means though that by the end of the of the <laughs> of the month, like I'm gonna dry spell. Like I am holding on to every penny, being as cheap as I can to like, you know, because I'm trying to save for my car. But um, when that happened, that fifteen dollars hurt me so bad because in my head that fifteen dollars would have bought me salad and and other fruits and vegetables so I can make my green smoothies and, and, and cook. Like, I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, so that's that's why I was hurting and I was stressed. Because I felt as though, like, that moment when you look at your account and you have less than $100 available, and then when that drops to, like, less than $15 available, that's why I was hurting. Like, that $15 loss put me at a $15 limit on my available cash. and. Um, it really hurt don't stress about money you guys it's just paper and one thing you need to know is that God is always gonna provide he's shown himself as my provider I don't know why I'm still stressing but this is why I don't I limit myself from checking my bank account um, to the beginning of the month and the middle of the month if I check it and it end, I become very anxious very 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 anxious and something I have to work on but people my age just know that money is only temporary and although you know if you need to make bills lapse let it lapse the best advice my sister gave me don't stress yourself out let bills lapse if you need to because you will get the relief you just don't stress yourself out uh, 13 Cast a vision, share it with your accountability group, and make it plain. My Christian brothers and sisters, you probably already know where I got this first. Um, it is important to speak out your goals. And because when you speak it out, you're going to be held accountable, especially if you share it with your close people, your accountability circle, um, because they're going to hold you accountable to it. I can tell you right now that everything that I've done within the last two, three years. I wrote it down as a goal and shared it with my best friend Val and Janice and 
Juna and my sister and my brother and my mom um, and my church members and leadership like month like years in advance um, it's not saying I'm giving notice but it's forcing me to stay on my toes and to get stuff done if you don't write down your goals if you don't share it with someone so that they can keep you keep you on check you're not gonna accomplish anything um, you need to have that pressure and that's good stress that's that's positive stress to get you working to get you doing things okay I'm a to-do list person every day in the morning when I get to work I write down my to-do list of everything I need to get done background check blah 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 and every moment when I do that I'm holding myself accountable to that to-do that to list and being able to cross things out at the end of the day <sighs> the joy that fills my heart <sighs> it's awesome you guys do it uh, 14 this goes kind of with what I just said celebrate every milestone my friend Robin good colleague friend Robin told me this and I realized that over searching my money and other life circumstances I lost over three thousand dollars within the last five months because of these crazy things that came my way um I was living on a tight budget um oh and Wells Fargo had the nerve to hold my paycheck for my job and tell me I couldn't get the money for 15 days and hint I was working for my job for a whole month with no pay because I get paid once a month. The stress I was under. Okay, I'm sorry. I digress. Um, my friend Robin said this and it is important. And celebrate everything. When you cross out things on the to-do list, you celebrate. When you when you do something, you celebrate. Even when you you rise above something that you know you've been struggling with, you better celebrate. I celebrate when I wash my hair. I celebrate when Oh, I celebrate every day when I am able to give love to my brothers. Oof. The things I've been dealing with commuting to work. Just celebrating how God uses my words and it, it has been transforming me so that I can respond out of love and, and, and godly correction and not be on judgmental and mean and the Lord's been teaching me teaching me and I celebrate all of that. I celebrate when I wake up in the morning. I celebrate when I still got clean underwear. I celebrate when I have a good meal and like I just cook myself some dinner. That thing was so good. You know, I celebrate everything. You have to celebrate everything or you're going to feel as though there's nothing to celebrate for and then you're going to just go numb. Celebrate every little thing. Just the little things, you know. There's a song from um, India I read. I just ate, but let me try to sing it for you guys. It's like the little things, the little things, and the joy they bring. The little things, the little things, the little things, and the joy they bring. Oh, that's my jam. Who goes to India I read tonight? All right, and last but not least. Number 15, it is okay if you are a loner. I am a loner. I own it. I don't try to change it. I don't try to force myself to be the popular chick. Um, popularity does not always mean genuine sincerity with your group of friends. You know, I prefer quality over quantity. And my friends know who they are. I love low maintenance friendships. I love genuine friendships. I love friendships that transpire across the lifespan, you know. And I think all the friends that I have now that I'm super close to, these are my lifetime friends. And um, it doesn't matter what happens in our lives. We will always be there for each other. Jimmy will be there and we'll, we'll correct each other. Like, I need a friend that's gonna tell me when I'm wrong, when I'm when I did something stupid, that's gonna cuss me out for like, what the hell's wrong with you, Kim? You did this wrong. You know, I need that type of friend. I don't need a, oh, Kim, high five. You know, how, you know, I don't need the superficial stuff. I don't like superficial friendships at all. And quite frankly, this may be a hit to someone's jugular, but if you have met me, 
and we somewhere somehow were friends and then we started not to become as close or anything like that it's just probably because we were becoming superficial and I can't deal with the superficial stuff I can't and it's not good for you I want to be genuinely friend to you and not have to worry about your feelings in that way and I'm gonna I'm gonna always care for your feelings love you you know God in a godly way you know but that also means hurting you because I love you and some friends just can't handle that so those are the 15 lessons that I've learned thus far just being 25 and uh, I got five more years scratch that I have four more years in a couple months <laughs> until I turn 30 and you know what I I'm just thanking God for every day and um, you know, I'm 25 years young and I will be 30 years young and you know black don't crack so I'm not worried about that but um it's been a good 25 years and um I just want to share those tips with you guys it's so much I knew but thanks for tuning in and if you like this video and would like more of this type of content I would totally bring you guys more